Hi. So you're the new builder in town. I heard you're from Barnarok. It's a lot more humid here in Portia. Have you got used to the humidity here? Health is the most important thing in life, right? Don't wait until you're sick to do something about it. A seaside proverb says prevention is the best cure. Don't you agree? Good. But still, eat some healthy foods. Good for the body, good for the mind. Try using milk, golden salmon, and salt to make the creamy salmon stew. It's a local stew. I personally find it very healthy. Have you seen the railing above the school recently? It's completely worn out. I'm always afraid that someone will break an arm one day when walking by that place. Can you please fix it? That would really give me some peace of mind. Thanks. Done fixing the handrail? Thank you so much. I was going to fix it myself if no one helped, but you obviously did a much better job than me. Good, you're recovering well and should be good to go. But I'm still having headaches, doctor. For the headache, use the medicine from last time for a few more days. Things should be fine. Okay, but I still feel my heart beating really, really fast. Heart still beats fast? Did you rest well? Working too hard at the Commerce Guild? Make sure you get enough rest. Okay, you are the boss. Hey there. Our medicine supply is well stocked. You can have this. Take care. Oh, by the way, here's a task for you. In the next few days, my teacher will send some medical books and magazines to Wuwa by sea. Can you ask him about it for me? Let me know if it has arrived. Thank you. It's a shoes book. I'm quite confident about my memory, but there have been no deliveries to Porsche recently. How about this? I will let you know if his books arrive. Oh, my books! I've waited long for these. What happened to your hand? It looks injured. Hmm, we're getting more and more books in the clinic. I'd like to have a shelf for these medical books. The clinic has this design, but it does not help. I'm not gifted enough for this kind of work. <laughs> oh, I can count on you? Terrific! This bookshelf is of great craftsmanship, even from Polly's perspective. Thank you for all the help. Here's something for you. Hopefully you find them useful. Recently, everyone is healthy. The work at the clinic is quite relaxed. Isn't the workshop builder quite busy? You've been helping us out for quite some time. Is there any way I can help you too? Want to chit-chat about what's going on with your work? I'm all ears. Right? I understand. Oh, this isn't a lot. Please take them. Thanks! You are welcome. It's hard to keep up with all of this every day. Here's what I found yesterday. They are all yours. I'm heading back to work. Hey, little fella. Getting your butt handed to you? Dr. Zhu is worried about you and wants to come in. Normally, I don't just let people in, so I let him wait outside. Go find him. He might still be waiting. Who knows? You're out, finally. Let me see if you're hurt. Why are you even here? Civil Corps says you visit the hazardous ruins often. There are tough monsters. You're in big trouble if you're injured. Let me get a look at you. Doesn't look serious. I will treat you in a bit. Okay, you are good to go. This is embarrassing. I wanted to sneak in when the gate was open, and a strange bird jumped on me and I couldn't react in time. And the rest is history. The good thing is, Sam showed up in time and drove away the bird and drove me back from the gate, too. 
Don't worry, I can take care of my injury. But if something happened to you, I'd be really worried. Is this plan even doable? Doctor, be brave about this. If you really like the person, go for it. You're right. I haven't even tried, and I should not think about backing out. Thanks for your advice, Phyllis. Oh, that. Doctor. What do we do next? I definitely can't ask. Greetings. Feeling uncomfortable? Ah. Oh, when did you arrive? Oh, not... nothing? I'm going to get some herbs. Phyllis, could you do what I asked earlier? Oh, want to know what Dr. Shu is up to? I'm keeping my mouth shut. Hmm. I've started to crave spaghetti with hot sauce recently. What do I do? So cool. Thanks a lot. Oh, you actually did it for me. I thought it was just a joke. Right then. Although I promised Dr. Shu to keep it a secret, I will make an exception this time. Let's just say you should go check out Higgins. You might find something interesting there. By the way, your spaghetti with hot sauce smells really good. Dr. Shu would enjoy this too. That's all? This order is all on you now. The more, the merrier! Give me all the orders! Speaking of which, as a fellow portion, I'd like you to make peace with him. He is one of us, after all. We should not be divided because of... This is the way to work. Don't worry about it, Dr. Shu. I know what I'm doing. Time is money! Work is about to start! Nice job, Higgins. I'm taking off. What? You are eavesdropping on us? You want to steal from me over my dead body? Even if you won, I'm not giving you the order of delivering five fireworks to Dr. Shu in two days. What? Let me reiterate, even if you beat me, I'm not giving you the order of delivering five fireworks to Dr. Shu in two days. You got it? Loud and clear, thank you. Wait, what? Oh, hi. Good morning. Come on, just say it, like always. Uh, yeah, it's really fine weather today. How do you feel? Is that right? That's good. I'd like to invite you to Topaz Bridge at 20 o'clock tomorrow night. That's awesome! Oh, I meant thank you. You don't have to bring anything, just come. There you are. Where are you going? Come here. Oh, what's this? Fireworks. I've got fireworks. I'm not the romantic type. Haven't dated a lot. Phyllis told me watching fireworks is romantic. So, I've made some fireworks specially for this day to surprise you. Look, I've brought fireworks too. Really? You brought some too? Really? Can we get started? These fireworks are beautiful. And so are you. Can we do this again sometime? Of course. I mean just two of us. Not just as friends. As a couple. Thank you. I will do my best.
No. This might not work. No, this definitely will not work. Anything bothering you, Dr. Shu? Ah, I was doing something. I didn't notice you. Recently, I've been cultivating a special kind of herb, but it's not going smoothly. This kind of herb will need a special tool to grow. Is there anything I can help with? Glad you asked. If you can make plant fences and spray bottle, it'll be plenty help. Interested? Great. This is the workbook I brought from the research center. You should be able to read it. That's a lot of work from you. Thanks. With these, the herbs should grow really well. What kind of herbs? Ah, it's complicated. According to the document, there will be beautiful flowers when it blossoms. I'll invite you when that happens. Sure. Terrific, here you are. The cultivation area is not far away. I'll take you there. Nice job. It's blossoming. I call it Moonlight Primrose. My teacher found it in a very distant place. He sent me the seeds. It only blossoms under moonshine. It's a magical kind of plant. Not only can it cure diseases, it looks stunning, right? I've extracted enough Yingyue essence. Here's some extra for you. Does it have any special effect? This herb is for medical use. Good for motion sickness. Motion sickness? Right. You know, there's a very important patient of mine in Portia. After all these years, Ginger still cannot fully recover from his sickness. When the sickness re-emerges, it gets worse. Perhaps our technology is still not quite ready for certain diseases. But according to the letter from my teacher at Seasai, they've developed new techniques from traditional knowledge that can be very helpful for her sickness. I will soon be leaving Portia for a while. Don't know how long yet. I'm going to miss every single one of you. I just want to be nicer to you for a little longer. The best way to travel to Seasai is by water, but I get motion sickness every time. Moonlight Primrose can help with it. This is a beautiful view. I will remember this night, so when I leave Portia, I can still gaze at the night sky and think about our time together. Hey, something came up. Um, Dr. Shu was trying to see if he could overcome his seasickness, so he took a boat this morning out to sea with Wuwa. Anyway, obviously it didn't work, and the good doctor is really miserable right now. <laughs> He's at home. I've got to head to work, so can you take care of him? Is it really bad? It's just seasickness, but I think he'll be out of it for a couple of days. Dr. Shu, are you okay? Uh, you didn't have to come by. I'm fine, just really dizzy oh don't get up can i get you anything to make you feel better it's okay actually i want to eat an apple for some reason oh that's easy enough i'll be right back thank you i feel much better now my ma used to give me an apple whenever i was feeling bad weren't you making some medicine for seasickness i was oof Phyllis knows. All right, you get some rest. I'll talk to her. I'm surprised he didn't have any on him. Here, this is a moonlight potion made from moonlight primrose petals. That should help him feel better.
Thanks. I feel a lot better now. Sorry for making you worry. Get some rest. I'll visit you later. Hi! You're here! I... When I was out at sea, for a moment I thought I was going to never see you again. I've never felt such strong sense of regret. I didn't want to leave here. I didn't want to leave you. I just got a new letter from my master telling me to correspond with him by mail. It'll be slower, but at least I'm not going anywhere. So, uh... Do you want to be with me going forward? I mean, together with me, forever? We'll take care of each other, and... By the power given to me by the Holy Spirit, I hereby pronounce you united under the everlasting Son. Precious, want to go for a walk with me? Precious. Ah, it's such a nice day. How about we have a picnic on Amber Island as a family? I'll go and pick out the best location. Bring our baby along. <laughs> 